Hi, Victor here. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a blinking eye and how to use the pen tool to create your own shapes. Sometimes you find yourself in the middle of creation. You need a certain shape and you realize you don't have it inside Create Studio. At that point, I rather create my own shape using this amazing tool, the pen tool. This tutorial idea came to me during I was working on creating the TikTok promo template, and I needed some shapes I couldn't find in the shapes menu. By the way, I do have a template marketplace for Create Studio Pro users. Besides tutorials about Create Studio Pro, I also create templates for different activity domains and other different applicabilities that I publish on my marketplace, and I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. So, back to the blinking eye. Let me quickly search in the shape menu to see if I can find an eye. You can see that we do have several shapes for an eye, but for my project none of these are good. Because they all have a circle in the middle, which is negative space, it is transparent. To demonstrate, I will bring in a rectangle and I will change the color. You can see here that this circle in the middle you can see through. Anyway, I will use this eye shape as a guide to create my own shape using the pen tool. I click once to add a point, and you can see here in the timeline, that the path element has already been created. Now I'll add another point here right in the middle. I always like to add only few points, then I come back at each point to fine adjust them. I never add points over the entire arc margin of the shape I use as a guide, following the entire shape it is time consuming. I'll go on and I'll add another point right here. On the right side, you can find all the instructions on how to add points, how to delete points and some other helpful indications. I am adding one more point down here, and I will close the shape by clicking back on the first point. For a better adjustment of the shape, I will change the border color. I will go to the top point, and I will double click on it. By doing so, I will get two handles that will allow me to adjust the shape borders. Once you get the handles, you can adjust the borders to fit the guide shape margins. For a better adjustment, let me go in settings and change the border size. I will reduce the opacity a little bit. Actually, let's make the border size 15. Now, if I zoom in, I can see the margins through the border, so I can better adjust it to have it right along the margins of the guide shape. You can explore by moving and dragging the handles until you have it the way you want it. See? It looks just fine. I like it how it came out. Next, I will exit the pen tool. Go to settings and I'll bring up the fill color opacity of the new created shape. And I'll remove the border by setting its value to zero. Now that I have created my shape using the pen tool, I can delete the eye shape I was using as a guide. To create my desired eye, I will duplicate the shape I just created, and I will set a border. And let's increase the size value at 6. And I'll make this black. I will make it a little smaller, to have this like an inner line of the eye. Next, I will bring in a circle shape. I will make it smaller to fit inside the borders of the duplicated shape. And I will make this circle black. To make the eye more attractive and engaging, I will need another shape to place on the black circle, I need a star. Again, not having that star I needed inside the software, I have created one already, and I have it saved in my scenes, which is another amazing and very helpful feature that Create Studio added in for us. So, I have this star in my saved scenes, and I just drag it on the canvas. You can see the star here on the timeline. I will ungroup it and I will remove its animations from both ends. My star already had animations added, because I was using this star in that TikTok template and that's the way I saved it in my scenes. Let's bring the star to fit the center of the eye, and its size is just fine. To animate the eye, I need to group all the elements together. So, I will select all the elements on the timeline, except the background and I'll create a group. Let me remove the excess tracks. And I will rename this group, Blinking Eye Group. And now, I have all the elements that creates the eye in one single group. I will add a motion preset animation to animate the in part, and I will choose to scale up. And, as you can see, 
the whole group with all the elements inside, scales up so perfectly together. Now, to make the eye to blink, I will need to add a custom animation. I will select scale, and for easing I will choose expo. I will make this custom animation shorter by dragging the right side keyframe to the left. To achieve that visual effect of a blinking eye, I need to bring both, the upper side and the bottom side, together horizontally at the center. To be able to do that, I will need to turn on the grids. This icon right here, opens the grid settings and I will turn on this one right here, snap to grids. And I will increase a little bit the grid size. Now that I gave the grid as a guide, I place the play head on the last keyframe of the custom animation I just added, and I will bring this bottom side to about right here, and the upper side I'll bring it down. It doesn't have to be perfectly close together. To make the eye open back, I need to add another custom animation, to reverse the first animation. I will choose again scale in the same easing, expo. I'll make this shorter, about the same length as the first one. I am bringing the top side, and the bottom side, of the eye group back to its initial position. I am adjusting the size to have the eye back to its original aspect. Let me just disable the grids from the canvas. And let's see how it came out. Just perfect. And this is how you can create your own shapes inside Create Studio Pro, using the pen tool, without needing to search the internet, or to learn how to use some other vector graphic software, to be able to create custom shapes. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell, to be notified for the upcoming tutorials on my channel. As always, thank you for watching. And if you need some done for you templates to customize yourself in Create Studio Pro, make sure to check out my template marketplace. Until next time, have fun creating.